Hmm. So it seems that they're preparing for some kind of mobilization and to declare some kind of wartime as opposed to a special military operation. And I think that's another thing. That's another bone being tossed to the party of war who have been calling for a long time for a mobilization because in their minds, the only thing that's keeping Russia from winning and winning quickly in Ukraine is that they're fighting with one hand tied behind their back. And if they were just to fully mobilize and announce basically a national draft that, they, that they would just overrun Ukraine immediately. Mm-hmm. This is not correct. Basically, <laughs> basically, the the Russian military can't absorb that many people. It's not built to have millions and millions of soldiers, uh, as Michael. Wait, what, Koff- do you, what, do you, what do you mean by that? So, um, I'm no military expert, so I ask people who are, uh, especially M- Michael Kaufman, who has predicted kind of turns of this war with a scary prophetic like of um, accuracy. But the way he explains it is basically you have an army that's built for a certain capacity, right? For like, let's say a hundred thousand troops. If you suddenly call up, you know, 300,000 more, what are you going to do with them when they all show up? Mm-hmm. Where are you going to house them? How are you going to feed them? Do you have military uniforms for all of them? Do you have places to train them? Do you have officers to train them? Um, do, do you know how to organize them? Do you know where you're going to send them? Like all of this stuff, it's not like 300,000 people show up at these military recruitment posts and with a snap of a finger are ready to fight, trained, armed, equipped. They're not there. You have, it takes months, right? Mm -hmm. Um, And it takes months for mobilization to bear fruit. And as Kaufman pointed out to me, Ukraine mobilized in late February, early March, and they're just now starting to see the benefits of that. 